So looking at your careers individually for a second, Nat, I know that you were involved with Star Wars Detours, and yes. I was wondering how you got involved in it, and when will the public finally get to see it? It's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> I, um, I got involved. I auditioned. Um, I had worked... Uh, a little bit with um, Seth Green and Matt and those guys on uh, a different uh, a pilot that uh, didn't get picked up, um, but had you know I had played a voice in their show and and had you know a little experience working with them creatively and we had a great time doing it and then they said they were sort of doing this other thing that was very confidential that we couldn't talk about and uh, I but that they would wanted me to audition and so I went in having really no clue what it was and you sort of can under you know you you read the sides and you sort of it's you know they hid the names of the characters and stuff so you you kind of have an idea that maybe something is you know related to a bigger thing you know um, but uh, it was we did I think like two full seasons recorded like a ton of material for it and. I think, um, you know, things got slightly complicated with the, you know, Lucas selling to Disney and um, then also with the new Star Wars coming out, you know, that J.J. Abrams is doing. And so I think they are sort of trying to figure out how best to position the show. And so I'm not sure in the immediate future whether this is something that will be seen because I don't think, I think they're weary of inundating maybe the, you know, um, marketplace with so much stuff that is, you know, uh, both in comedy and then you also have the movies maybe and it just, I think they were weary of that. So I think hopefully at some point the, the time will come for it because it's a very funny, funny show and it's filled with, littered with hilarious, talented comedians. So I think I think there will be a light at the end of the tunnel. I just may be a bit of a long tunnel. 